Alright folks, uh, just doing a video on uh, a left-handed version of Spyderco's military knife. And, uh, you know, there's always a story about everything, and uh, the knife world is no different. And uh, one of the things that I've heard, and you never know what's true and what's not, but uh, when Sal Glesser was uh, designing this knife, <clears throat> he really was approached and said, Hey, what kind of knife would you build if your son was going off to fight in the war? And uh, this is a knife he came up with. and um, Not this exact one, <laughs> but one similar. And then this was modified to a left-handed version. Uh, Spyderco has actually gone and discontinued the left-handed military, which uh, I'm really disappointed about. Because, oh, being a left-handed person, I really like this blade quite a bit. Um, I like the action on it. I like the blade steel. I like the design. I, I like everything about it. And uh, so I actually went out and bought a second one. So I have another one sitting brand new in the box uh, for when <clears throat> this one wears out. Uh, being a left-handed person, you're kind of forced to uh, live in a right-handed world. And um, when a design comes along that actually works really well for you without adaptation or modification, um, it's like it's specially made for, like, your, your, for your hand. It's like Cinderella slipper or something. And um, this, this knife is, is perfect. When uh, I first got it, I was a little disappointed that it didn't have four-point carry. But uh, with this knife and this size, I'm fine with the way it carries. When, you know, to pull it out of my pocket, uh, it's ready for action. And um, it also works well if you were carrying it on your chest or torso. And I think that that may have been one of the design influences. So if you have it on a, on a tactical vest, or uh, I don't wear a tactical vest around town, but one of the things I do have is a backpack or a Maxpedition Versa pack or a sling bag and uh, I can tuck this into the molly webbing on the strap, and uh, when I pull it out, it's right where the, it's at the angle that I want it to be. And uh, I really think it's more for uh, an upper body, and not a lower body mount system. But I don't know. I didn't talk to Sal about it. So anyhow, that being said, um, I'll talk a little bit about the knife's construction. It does have a uh, open construction. It doesn't have a backspacer, but it does have this liner here but uh, it, it does have uh, standoffs or pillars it is a liner lock but the liner does not run the length of the blade it actually stops about halfway down uh, this liner I believe is made out of stainless steel it's not titanium uh, no liner lock issues with it at all um, the pivot works great it opens very easily uh, fast quick smooth deployment it's uh, made in golden, golden Colorado a nice American made knife and uh, it uses S30V, which is one of my favorite steels. Um, I'm not a steel expert or a guru, but uh, a lot of people are like, I just don't like the powdered steels. I find that they chip, or and that, that may be true. I, I have noticed chipping on some S30V um, knives that I've had. But all in all, it's, S30V is one of my favorite knife, knife steels. I feel it's a good solid performer and a good middle-of-the-road knife. Um, where you get your money's worth, you know, you're not paying a lot of money for marginal increases in performance and I know marginal would be debatable but um, I feel that's a good value steal and uh, it's certainly better than uh, the OS 8s and uh, the CR13 MOV mixes and stuff like that um, that being said this is a four it's a four inch blade and the handle is 5.5 .5 inches uh, so overall it's uh, a pretty pretty uh, stout knife at nine and uh, nine and a half inches I believe it's a three millimeter uh, thickness on the blade the tapers down to a very fine point this is what's called a modified clip point so it's almost upswept uh, uh, a little bit it uh, is a full flat ground it's very sharp knife uh, the s30b takes an edge great in my opinion and being full flat ground this knife is a tremendous slicer and uh, it has a very delicate fine point which would make it great for penetration it does have some jimping on the thumb ramp here which uh, isn't the over jimped or under jimped i think it's appropriate and has a little bit of a finger choil for, for getting up close. Um, I think they call this the power cut grip. The knife feels great. There's a little bit of a palm swell here. It fills the hand very nice. Um, and it's very comfortable. When, when I use this knife, I don't feel any hot spots. I don't feel any discomfort. Um, it, like I said earlier, it really is like a Cinderella's slipper. It's a, it, it's a great knife. I, I, the military is made in a variety of uh, formats with different... Um, handle materials different colors there's orange ones and blue ones and titanium ones and titanium sunburst ones and and uh, they do a variety of uh, blade steels as well 
and uh, I just wish there was more variety in the uh, in the in the left-handed version, but there's not. Uh, I've almost actually p picked up a right-handed one. I, I, I like it so much, and uh, actually can deploy these pretty well um, from a variety of mechanisms. So I think right-handed is something that I, that I could do. So there might be one of those in the future. Um, there's also a rumor that uh, a military two is is uh, in the works. Yeah, but I think that that's been going on for a long time. It w it wouldn't surprise me, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath and wait for it. Let's see here. Um, the weight is four and a quarter ounces, which I feel is, um, you know, it's a very light knife. I think you get a lot of blade for that weight. It's a comfortable carry. It's not overly thick. Uh, if you take a look, it's just under a half inch. The uh, blade comes perfectly centered. Like I said, it deploys very well. Uh, really, really happy with this knife. That's really all I'm going to say. Otherwise, I'd start to repeat myself in Babylon worse than, uh, than I already am. Um, it's a great knife. Lanyard hole's a little small, but uh, I'm very happy with it. So I bought a second one, and uh, I would recommend this to anybody. Thanks, everybody.